So I have something really cool to show you all. And if I just spin around here, we see this iPad kind of looking thing. And basically what I've made is a working mouse cursor in Minecraft with this little 10 by 10 pixel lamp thingy. I don't know why I said 10 so weirdly, but that doesn't matter. So what I mean by a working mouse cursor, if I just move my mouse here, if you can see it, I can move it side to side. I can also move it up and down, so I can move it across an X axis and a Y axis, and I can also select things. I can select options, statistics, all that good stuff, or back to game, and that's what I'm going to choose. So yeah, I can actually select things, make things work, so that's basically what I have made here. Now I didn't actually add any functionality to this, it's only a display, but it's very easy to add some functionality to this. This thing is also infinitely expandable across the x-axis and the y-axis, and it's pretty tiny for what it does. We're going to see the redstone later, but let's just see how this thing works. We got this little button panel, these move the cursor up. These buttons move the cursor down, this one moves it left, this one moves it right. Pretty simple. So, we press it right, we hear some pistons firing. Whoa, moves it right. We push the up button. Wow, it moves it up. We push the left button. It moves to the left after a little bit. And we push the down button. Wow, isn't that so cool? Moves down. So, this thing is also somewhat spam proof, so you can like, spam the down button. So we just spammed it twice, so it's only going to just go once. But you know, you can like spam the left and right buttons. So you know, we spammed it three times, so it's just going to move twice. So it kind of like registers some of the button presses. So there we just spammed the up button three times. We're just going to wait a little while. And I guess nothing's going to happen. So actually it did do something. I just didn't realize it but I just did well, right now while I was editing. So yeah, it actually did move the dot upwards. So let's just try again, but you know, not spam the up button. There we go. So yeah, this thing is pretty spam proof and you can also like spam it in different directions. So if you go left and then up, it's going to do a diagonal. So there we go, does it pretty fast. And if you do it fast enough, you can actually get it doing like the diagonal motion. So, let me see if I can get it. Oh, wow, that was so terrible. Okay. Let's try one more time with this button and that button. Wow. Okay. You know what? Forget it. It does a diagonal motion if you spam it fast enough. And also, another cool thing about this display, it also has, like, an edge detection, I guess you could call it. So, if it's on the edge of the screen it won't go anywhere no matter how many times you do it it also works going up so if I just move this thing all the way to the top corner eventually it'll get in the corner and yep I, I can't move it up at all it won't move up at all this also works with going to the right and going down but I'm not gonna show that because I don't want to get that all the way down here. It's going to take a pretty long time. Now, you might see a little bit of redstone from the sides and the bottom. But now, let's look at all the redstone. Wow, look at that. It's pretty compact, if I do say so myself. And the best part is, um, it only uses these four materials. So, you could build this in updates before 1.5. And I'm pretty sure this works in all versions of Minecraft. So, it works in Bedrock, Xbox... PC and also works on servers. It doesn't lag anything at all. It's super robust. It's spam proof. It's just amazing in every way. And it's also relatively compact. So now I'm just going to show you kind of how this works. There's really like three main circuits, and that's kind of like the display, the actual XY coordinate thing, AND gate kind of thing, and the two shift registers, which are the red. And, you know, we also have inputs, and I also kind of set myself to the challenge to make them only using these materials. So, first let's look at the displays. They're the simplest thing. So, as you can see, we just have this array of torches, and each block of this array, I guess, has two torches, one in the front and one in the side. This torch activates a repeater. 
which turns off this torch and activates these two lamps and there's one on the side has another repeater and a piece of redstone activates this second torch which activates this lamp and the lamp above it so we get a 2x2 two two pixel so we just copy that 10 times across and 10 times down and we get 10x10 10 10 array and we also have a bunch of repeaters going into each one so that's just the display and now probably the most complicated bit but also the easiest bit was this XY coordinate thing it was probably the easiest thing to build but it's pretty hard to understand so basically we have all of these torch towers which correspond to each X coordinate so this would be the fourth X coordinate so the fourth pixel down the display and so on and so forth and that just activates these repeaters and this cyan circuit is the Y coordinate kind of thing which is activated by this red circuit which I'll explain later but it's just these blocks that get activated and it activates each row of torches so basically how this AND gate works if we just go to the corner and that's why I kinda purposely picked it so it's easier to see we have this row of torches because this X coordinate is chosen so this is completely off which will turn off this torch and this redstone dust but if the X if wait no if the Y coordinate is not selected on here it will stay on because if we just go over here there is a torch here it's the only one activated out of this row and under all of these blocks there is a row of repeaters but you can't really see them and there's also some more torches here that activate this torch so if this X line row thing I guess wasn't activated this torch will turn on therefore turning off this torch so that's why both that X and Y coordinate have to be activated to activate that specific pixel so that's kind of overcomplicated, but basically all it is is just a giant AND gate so that's basically how the X and Y coordinate thing works and also you can like select information if you just copy this and like flip it to this side and you can add this little torch array on the back side so you can actually like select things and you can have some kind of activation button I don't know it's all up to you and there's also two shift registers over here we have a horizontal one like this and down here I kind of have one just so I can show how it works so basically all of these bits are off and if we just push one as you can see it will just stay activated because all of these are kind of like these repeater memory cells where it kind of gets in this infinite lock loop thing and basically if we push any of these buttons so this one will make it go to the right and this button will make it go to the left and it's actually really simple basically what these pistons do is when they push down this signal will go through this block and into this repeater and then into the next register and just when that happens these pistons will retract so now this will be turned on and then this will be turned off and it also works going the other way it's just the same thing if you can see it and you know it also goes off the thing and that's kind of the other thing we had to add like an edge control so it wouldn't go off so pro noob if he's on yeah he's on he's the fourth one down he helped me make this thing actually he just showed me this while I was trying to figure out how to do it and he's like wow look at this simple thing so yeah thank you for making this thing so basically what it does if it gets to the edge and this piston will activate it will activate this two tick repeater but then it will go back into itself so it kind of makes an, a loop so it just goes back to itself and just activates itself and this piston retracts and this stays on and we kind of have that on the other side and we also have a second shift register and it wasn't designed by me I just found it on YouTube I forget the person's name but if you just search up vertical bidirectional shift register on YouTube you'll eventually find it so I don't really know how it works but I'm pretty sure it works using memory latches with torches and redstone and then we just have a little thing that just carries the signal upwards and downwards so that's that and we also have one over here so we can see it working so by default all of these repeaters are turned on so we had to put torches to invert the signal so as you can see this repeater is off and there are two repeaters down here and a bunch up there so if we push this button 
that will bring the signal up and if we push this button down here it will bring the signal back down and it's also relatively quick and what's cool about this one um, this design that this person made it doesn't loop around so if you just push down again it won't go off the array it will stay there so that was a pretty cool feature that that person added on YouTube I don't know you can find them if you just search a bit and the last thing over here is just the input circuits which are just these buttons going into each shift register it's really not that hard we just have mon stables going for the ones on the side and we just have button inputs directly going into this torch ladder redstone thing over here and this other one on the other side and there is one more thing about this particular shift register now because it uses pistons and just a straight up line of redstone you have to add a repeater and that kind of messes with the timings of this so basically wherever there was a repeater we had to make this a two tick repeater instead of a three tick repeater and you just do that and continue on and just put two tick repeaters wherever there is a repeater needed so yeah if you want to build this for yourself you can come on to this server it's synergy server net I think that's the IP so yeah you could just come on to my server uh, not my server this server and if I'm on um, you'll see me I'm the dirt guy over there wow I'm orange too um, you can just come on and if I'm on I could show you this thing and you know you could copy it and not plagiarize it hopefully so yeah that's basically this XY coordinate grid I think it's pretty cool like I said it uses only 1.5 pre 1.5 redstone so it doesn't use any 1.5 redstone like hoppers droppers and comparators and it doesn't use observers or all that fancy stuff it doesn't even use locking repeaters so really simple stuff so hope you enjoyed this video and uh, subscribe to PewDiePie and me hopefully I don't know e goodbye